Okay, to configure deep linking on iOS, first thing we're going to do is actually open the project in Xcode. So from our project directory, I'm going to say open iOS slash whatever the project name is. In my case, it's deep linking demo dot XC workspace. If you're not using Cocoa Pods, it'll be an Xcode project that you want to open. So from there, let's go ahead and go to our project. What you want to do is select deep linking demo, then go ahead into your app delegate dot M. And at the top of the file before this debug, because this is something we want to do in production as well, you're going to want to go ahead and say import react slash RCT linking manager. You can see by using Xcode, we actually get autocomplete happening there. Now scrolling down to the bottom of your app delegate.m, before this at end, you want to go ahead and paste the following code. This code you can go ahead and copy uh, down below this video, but basically what we've got here is configuring a listener for our linking. So we've got an open URL event that we're listening to, and then the RCT linking manager, go ahead, capture that information and forward it along to React Navigation, which is actually using linking behind the scenes. Now, this isn't all we need to do. Just go up to the root project, select your target of the project name, and then if you go to the info tab, you want to go down to the URL types. Now the URL types is going to be just like your HTTP when you go to a web site. Uh, this is going to say, okay, given this URL type or this version of HTTP, instead of opening a website, go ahead, open our app. So what we want this to be is swappy demo. So when someone says, go to swappy demo colon forward slash forward slash, it should open our app. And we want to put that in both the identifier and the URL scheme. We're going to leave icon blank and we're going to leave editor role as editor. So with that all done, let's go ahead and rebuild our app. Do that by saying here and run iOS. And we need to rebuild our app because we're making changes to our native project. So those need to be compiled and then built and installed on the device. Unlike when we're making a JavaScript change, which can just, we see immediately. Okay, with our app rebuilt, let's go ahead and try this out. From the command line, you can go ahead and say xc run sim ctl. Then you want to say open URL on the booted device. And then what URL do we want to open? So in this case, we want to open up the swappy demo URL. Notice we're in the messages app. And when I go ahead and run this, I'm going to be prompted open in deep linking demo, which is my project name. If I open it, Rather, if I click open, you can see it'll go ahead and open our application. So with that, we've gone ahead and actually set up our basic deep linking on the native side to go ahead and work within our app. Now, if I go and do something different, such as pass some sort of route, you can see it's not actually doing anything. That's something we'll configure later on. But with that, you've gone ahead and set up deep linking on the native side for iOS.